Well, while we are pursuing all of these goals of taking off the list, like you say, Barry, I think what we do like to do is we do like to make waves into the world and we do like to, I suppose, put a little bit of meaning out there as well with our little tick box exercises. And one example of that was this past weekend was the Peter McKinnon 72 hour short film challenge. And uh, for those of you who don't know who Peter McKinnon is, he is a legend of a YouTuber and in my mind is really the king of cinematography. And his short film challenge was just that. It was a very, very impromptu last minute, no lead up to it. He dropped a video and he said, I don't know what you're doing this weekend. I'm sorry, but here's the challenge. Um, and so there were three rules really. Um, you had to shoot the footage this weekend within that allotted time slot. The footage had to be yours. And I suppose importantly as well is that you used music that was uh, copyright free or music that you had licensed to use. And so I basically started this journey by reaching out to my best friend who's a writer, <laughs> a genius, a wordsmith, and that is no one other than the great Barry Maurice. That's very kind words, Chad. I wouldn't say genius. I would say uh, oh, amateur writer trying to become better. Um, but I was very flattered to get the to get the message and say, you said to me, listen, I've got this 72-hour film challenge. I need like a script. I need something to work from. Do you have any ideas? And we talked about a few ideas and I wrote something up and sent it through. And uh, literally... A day and a half later, you had provided this amazing piece of visual imagery to go behind those words and really turned into something really inspiring, I felt. And I was really happy with it. So congratulations, Chad. I, no matter if you win it or not, I think it was a great film. And it really talked to kind of some of the things I've been thinking about when we talk about being authentic online and being authentic yeah. in our lives and talking about how do we show the real person, how do we show the real you. So I won't ruin the film. You Please go and check it out on Chad's YouTube channel. It's, it's great. But uh, I think it... it it was a great experience for to see my words come to life. It was a weird thing. It was on my Evernote like on Saturday afternoon and Sunday night I got a link and it was beautifully put together with amazing music and, and your fiance modeling like extraordinarily there. Uh, it really was a really cool experience. And so how did you how did you find it, Chad? How was the experience trying to get all the footage in that short space of time? I'm sure it was quite chaotic. That's the thing. I've never ever done anything like this and I've never actually done a video like this at all. Um, and so to have that script that really was remarkable, which really was just perfect, flawless um, to work from, really just set the tone for the, the day of shooting and the day of editing that followed. Um, and I loved, I loved the story. Like you said, Barry, I don't want to spoil it too much. Um, you can see it on my YouTube channel, so you can just search Chad Sturley. And the film is called We've Always Worn Masks. It's only about three minutes, um, so it's not going to take up your entire day. Um, but I, I loved the journey. I loved, I loved the process of it. I loved the, the finality of, of having a deadline. I suppose often with these creative projects, we kind of try to get them to perfect. And uh, I suppose we forced sometimes to, to, to actually just make a call, make a call, run with it. And even when we were discussing the idea for the premise of the film, we had loads of different options and some might be more fitting, some might be less fitting, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I think the best thing to do is just grab that idea and run with it and try to be as creative as you can with what you have. Um, luckily, it turned out really great and I'm really, really pleased with it. And like I said, that script was just just the perfect uh, backbone um, to what was uh, the great narrative of the film. But I learned a lot. I really did learn a lot just having to commit to certain edits or commit to certain clips, even though you're not 100% satisfied with them. I think it just shows you that you, you can actually cross over the line a lot of the times. A lot of the times we are hypercritical of ourselves. A lot of the times we, we actually are okay with what we've got and it's good enough. It's, it's good enough. Um, I think that's an important message. And, and I suppose that's what I learned on this. We underestimate the power of constraints when we come to creativity. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people are talking about the fact that when you're creative, it feels like you've got the whole world around you. You can do a thousand different things, right? And there's so much that obviously we get we we often get into those times where we have we are paralyzed by how many options we have. Like you say, yeah. those clips could be edited into a thousand different ways, and you can have a thousand yeah. different songs. And there's lots of this abundance that makes these things difficult. So to have these constraints is really powerful. Whether it's compressed time, whether it's the amount of footage you can get in that weekend whether it's where you can get the footage from, all of these things is really a way of kind of 
narrowing down your choices to give you a real direction and a north star. And like you say, it's a matter of then just making it and then letting it out into the world, even though it's not perfect. I mean, you could have spent another month on that thing and tweaked every little thing and made it a tiny bit better. But at the end of the day, your time is actually better spent on telling new stories. And so I'm really proud of you, dude. It was a really great film. And I would say it again, please go and watch it, guys. Go to Chad's YouTube channel and watch the film. I think it came out really, really, really well. And I hope you make some more of them in the future, Chad. Thank you very much, Barry. And uh, again, thanks for your contribution as well. And uh, let's hold thumbs. Maybe we can uh, rack a place there. Who knows? Let's move on to our final segment. Home, 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 across the pond with Barry and Chad. 